Each for both teams, all the players. And it's almost provides this compounding effect, you know, that we know as passion that just takes performances to another level. So both sides loaded with skill, loaded with speed, uh, but you just know that the, the energy and effort will go to the next level in this contest, Matty. Some of the stories across the women's teams and the men to follow have been remarkable in the lengths that players have gone to to be part of this this week to celebrate their heritage, their culture, and we stand by now for the pre-game ceremony, which will be a highlight before both games this evening. The Indigenous women to lead us off with a cultural or unity dance designed to show pride of culture and strength in women. And this team, well, they're standing by for a Maori war cry, a special female haka written by Hammond Matua, who just happens to be the brother of the Maori Ferns coach, Rusty Matua. A real family theme through the Maori Ferns. And we'll get through that as the game continues. But the scene is set at Amy Park in Melbourne. The start of the footy season, if you like, with so much more to come. The World Club Challenge on Monday. We'll tell you about all the wonderful offerings ahead on Fox League throughout the evening. What a night for Rebecca Young, the captain of the Indigenous team, 37 years young. And she's back on the big stage after missing a start in the NRL Women's Premiership. So, onto the field for the pre-game ceremony. It was Hilda Mariu leading the Maori Ferns Haka. And now they stand and wait for the Indigenous All-Stars to perform their cultural or unity dance.
Well done, girls, and fantastic to see Preston Campbell on the didgeridoo. Ben Eichen, what a proud man he must be, this concept born out of his passion in 2010. Spent the morning with Preston Campbell, and uh, this has almost been his life's work. He has poured his heart and soul in this concept, and we just saw another demonstration of how much his creation means to so many people. We saw the Maori Ferns send a message, the Indigenous All-Stars tell a story, and you could feel the history coming through the screen, couldn't you? It's just amazing. It must be an incredible feeling to be part of it. Also with us tonight, very much part of it, Mark Gaznier, good evening. What do you enjoy about All-Stars Night, Gaz? Good evening, Matty. How good is it to have Rugby League back on the TV? Look, I think first and foremost, the representation of cultures. Benny touched on it there. But two, the coming together of the best players in the competition. And when you get that and they haven't had time to prepare as much, you get that unstructured natural talent shine through. And that's what I'm looking forward to tonight. It's come a long way in a little way. The women's all-stars game, when it was first played in 2011, again, it was a curtain raiser to the men's extravaganza. But... The gates to the ground were locked and the family and friends of the women couldn't get into nearly half time. Well, now you can see the crowd building around them. They're shown on national television throughout Australia, New Zealand, around the world. Show us your best, ladies, and I reckon it will be something to behold, Ben. No lock gates today, Matthew. We're in for a treat, I think. <laughs> Tripping with talent both sides, and that's what we're, we, we've arrived at that point. It's all about the footy now. We've had the celebration of history.